We're talking about eating the rainbow and it's time to talk about green fruits and vegetables. Yes, there are some green fruits like kiwi, for example. But the dominant phytonutrient giving this green color is chlorophyll. You're also getting some lutein and some glucosinolates depending on the food family. But chlorophyll is the main thing happening. Yes, even in kiwis. And here's why chlorophyll is so amazing. It has a really strong ability to bind to carcinogens in the gastrointestinal tract and prevent their absorption into the human body. And this includes some of the most widespread foodborne carcinogens like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines, which are formed when we cook at very, very high temperatures like frying and barbecuing, as well as aflatoxin B1, which is a common contaminant from mold found in crops like peanuts. Chlorophyll also has some other cancer protective properties though. It is able to support the activity of phase two detoxification enzymes, supporting the body's detoxification processes and helping the body to eliminate carcinogens and other toxic substances. There's such a huge range of green vegetables and even some green fruit to choose from. Besides the aforementioned kiwi, there's also like green grapes. There's uh, all the leafy greens, spinach and lettuce and chard and kale and collard greens and mustard greens. There's also uh, Brussels sprouts and broccoli. There's all the varieties of broccoli. There's asparagus and green beans. There's so many to choose from. This is probably the easiest color of the entire rainbow to get in our diets.